Well, ho, 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 would you look at that? The month of fruitcake, eggnog, and mistletoe is upon us, and with it, a whole slew of new video games. Here are the biggest games releasing in December 2020, and who knows, maybe even some that came out already, like that Pokemon DLC you were also eager to correct us on last month. Look, we make mistakes. There's a lot of games that come out. On December 1st, you can save your homeland from ancient evils in atmospheric RPG Kronos Before the Ashes, which is on PC, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Stadia, or you can build an organized crime syndicate in Empire of Sin, a gangster strategy game set in 1920 Chicago, which is on all of the platforms I just listed except for Stadia. And then there's Twin Mirror, Lost on Arrival on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, as well as Worms Rumble, which is on PC and both of the Playstations. One of those games is a spooky supernatural adventure, and the other is about cartoon worms trying to kill each other, and I bet you can figure out which one is which. On December 2nd, that dog wearing clothes and his naked rabbit partner are solving crimes yet again on PC and Switch in Sam and Max Save the World Remastered, and then a day later, Ubisoft's third massive open world game of the last three months is here with Immortals Phoenix Rising, which looks a bit like an all-ages assassin. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that is on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X, and Switch, and Stadia. If you want something a little more metal, there's also Morbid the Seven Acolytes, which is a Lovecraftian horror punk action RPG on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And if that sounds too metal, there's also Fogs, which is a cute co-op game about a sort of double-ended dog tube solving puzzles and stuff. That's on PC, Switch, Xbox, and PS4. And another game about intimate relationships that doesn't involve dogs, probably, is Haven, the RPG about a boy and a girl exploring a faraway planet and also doing some kissing. They probably could have called that Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, but there's already a game called that. That's on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X. And then there's also Sheeran the Wanderer, The Tower of Fortune, and The Dice of Fate on PC, which is already in the running for one of our longest game titles of 2020. And if the name didn't give it away, it's a JRPG roguelike. And if that wasn't enough, keep an eye out for Entrepreneurship Sim, Startup Panic on PC, and Taiko Drumming Rhythm RPG, Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythmic Adventure Pack on Switch. On December 4th, the next-gen versions of FIFA 21 and Madden NFL 21 arrive on both new consoles so you can play either kind of football with way better graphics. Commandos 2 HD Remaster and Fitness Boxing 2 Rhythm and Exercise come shooting and punching, respectively, their way onto Switch, along with Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, which is the very first Fire Emblem game, which is finally getting its first official localized release 30 years after it came out for Famicom in Japan. Meanwhile, the definitive Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age definitively comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and text-based political RPG Suzerain is out for PC. Oh yeah, and tactical Keanu Reeves simulator John Wick Hex Gunkata's onto Xbox One and Switch, which means that Keanu Reeves is appearing in almost as many video games just this month as he did in movies this entire year. On December 8th, Destiny 2 colon Beyond Light comes to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 so you can stop playing those brand new games and go back to grinding away at the one you've been playing compulsively since 2017. And then there's the Tropical Island Mystery Adventure Call of the Sea on PC and all of the Xboxes, but let's be real, if you really want to put that Series X to the test, you want Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Can those 12 teraflops render several dozen colorful blobs on screen at once? Yes. Yes, they can. Anyway, that's also on PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Shakes on a Plane is a game literally about shaking stuff, and that comes to PC and Switch. And then there's MMO Creature Collector Temtem, which is on PS5. On December 9th, big-headed anime adventure Wood Salt comes to PC and Switch. But then finally, on December 10th, Cyberpunk 2077, one of the most anticipated video games in history, finally gets released unless they delay it again after we record this video. But after almost a decade in the making, CD Projekt Red's sprawling sci-fi RPG will finally turn players loose in the futuristic dystopia of Night City to hang out with the cybernetic ghost of Keanu Reeves who lives inside your head. Unless they push it again, which has already happened three times this year, so I'm not about to jinx it. So hopefully it actually comes out. Anyway, that's on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Stadia with a next-gen version slated for next year, which will be a free upgrade to anyone who buys the game on current-gen consoles. Anyway, if Cyberpunk 2077 isn't your jam, you can also play a PC adventure game based on George Orwell's classic novel Animal Farm or tactical RPG Brigandine, The Legend of Runergia on PS4. And finally, out for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch is Sword of the Necromancer. That's sword of, as in like the long-bladed melee weapon that belongs to the necromancer, not like somebody who is only sort of using magic to commune with the dead. On December 11th, Medal of Honor Above and Beyond brings the World War II shooter franchise to PC VR with an all-new campaign, but also a coincidentally catty title. You see, the actual Medal of Honor is awarded to soldiers who go above and beyond the call of... 
Uh, well, it's the name of another popular video game series. Shots Fired. Literally, because it's a game about shooting stuff. On December 15th, Collection of Saga, Final Fantasy Legend brings the first three Final Fantasy Game Boy games to Switch, and on December 16th, MXGP 2020 brings officially licensed motocross action to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And then, really cutting it close for those last-minute Christmas shoppers, there's Giant Robot Brawler Override 2 Super Mech League, which is out for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, and Switch. And on December 31st, you can close out this festering sh** pile hell year with a game that features numerous literal hellish festering sh** piles in Binding of Isaac's long-awaited Repentance DLC. And finally, at some point during December, the latest Minecraft Dungeons DLC, Howling Peaks, will drop, but that game likes to be all loosey-goosey with release dates. Who do they think they are, anyway? Nintendo? Oh yeah, it's also totally possible that Nintendo will have a surprise direct and announce a bunch of out-right-now holiday stuff. Anyway, the point is we did our best to list all of the games coming out this month. What did we inevitably forget about, and what did we get so completely wrong that you feel compelled to leave us a comment curtly correcting us instead of saying something nice like, Wow, that's a lot of games. Thanks for keeping me informed. I'm not bitter. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and from all of us here at IGN, we hope you have a safe and happy holiday season and get to close out this year playing some cool new video games, or maybe some dorky old ones. Either way, as long as you're having fun, we'll see you next year. Thank you for watching.